Chapter 9 Katrina saw Carter and Kaysen sitting on a bench outside the courtroom. They saw her but didn't speak to her or acknowledge her existence in any way. She didn't blame them. Their caseworker stood up and shook Katrina's hand. Hello, he said. I'm Ben Fielder. Hoping we can work something out today. The boys weren't allowed in the courtroom. A security guard stayed with them until proceedings were over and done with. Katrina stood before the judge with her face blank. Let's make this quick, Judge Keller said. Are you willing to relinquish custody of the juveniles, Miss Townsend? Katrina didn't answer. She had no answer. She didn't want to, but she also did. Her boys had been her sole focus since they were born. Jonah barely helped, even when they were still together. Her parents were only available during the day, and Jonah's parents moved away. She had no help, and it was too much. Too much. Judge Keller sighed. Come up here, Miss Townsend. Katrina went up to the bench, expecting the judge to tell her off. He didn't. I can see how tired you are, he said. It's not weakness admitting that you can't handle it. Think about it. You have two weeks. You can take them with you today. Ben Fielder seemed happy with the judge's decision. Carter and Kaysen were less so. They followed Katrina to her car, but kept an intentional distance between her and themselves. The whole ride home was tense and unpleasant. Katrina kept the music loud, fully aware that they were whispering to each other in the back seat. She didn't care. She had failed them, and they knew it. One can't abandon kids their age and expect them not to feel some kind of way about it. When they got home, Carter and Kaysen went to their room and locked the door. Let the dark have them will continue, so please come back.